guys, hope you're having a great day. If you're new here, I'm Misty and I go around the island of Oahu and show different um, mom and pop restaurants or local businesses. And um, today's restaurant is called Max and Lucy's. It's a small hole in the wall. It's been there for a while. It's off of Hale Kuwila Street, uh, more towards the Punchbowl Street side near the courthouse. And um, I just saw a post of their steak plate and it intrigued me to go there and try out their food and their desserts as well. Um, if you go there, there is no parking, unfortunately. It's all street parking and metered. Right now, they're doing a little bit of construction on Punchbowl Street, so some of the meters were taken away, but I was lucky. I went there early and um, there was two meters open, so it wasn't too bad to find parking. And if you're an early bird like I am, uh, they open really early at 6 in the morning and they close early at, um, I always use military time, I was going to say 1400, but 2 p.m. And so unfortunately, if you don't get out of work uh, early or you're not in that area, um, it will be hard to visit. But if you work in the Honolulu area or are an office worker, you can call in an order and try it out for lunch because they're only open Monday through Friday. They're not open on the weekends. So we're going to start off with one of their specials. If you go to the front, there's a big billboard with all their specials. Every day has different, uh, a couple of items that are not on their regular menu. And today is Friday. So I got their salmon katsu. Ooh, look at that. A big chunky piece of salmon you have a choice of tartar sauce or katsu sauce so i got katsu also what surprised me is um you have a choice of white brown rice and fried rice so this is their fried rice and i asked is there an upcharge on that no there is not and there's also tuna mac salad which um, sounds delicious all right so upon entering you can see some of the items already made to um it's just like a old style cafeteria you know it's got the shoyu chicken there and some other things and my salmon katsu was already ready and uh i think there was only two pieces left so i got one and so there's only one piece left guys so you better hurry up and get some so i'm gonna dig in and try this katsu without the sauce first cutting it it's very still crispy surprisingly since it's it was not like made to order Very crispy and you taste the panko on the outside. It's a little bit fishy, but you know, in that salmon-y way. So I think if you're kind of on the, I'm just saying this um, so you don't waste your money because everybody has different tastes. If you're not into fishy fish, you know, because some people like that and you like a mild fish, you probably wouldn't like this, but I, it doesn't bother me. All right, let's dip this into the katsu sauce and taste that. Hmm. Much better with the katsu sauce. Actually really goes well together. I think the most fishy part is this salmon has skin on it. So when you get to the skin part, it gets fishier, but the other parts just taste like regular salmon. Okay, let's try their fried rice. So I asked him what was in it because it looks pretty plain but it is um portuguese sausage although i don't really see any shoyu and it's fried in bacon grease so call your cardiologist you can taste that bacony greasiness which is yummy and a little bit of the shoyu mm. Pretty good. I don't see any sausage in here. Oh, I got one right there. Yeah, every time you bite and then once in a while, because there's not too much sausage in here, but you'll get it in your bite and it's like a meat surprise. I'll say that that fried rice is pretty darn good, even though it looks plain. I mean, and how can you not complain? You don't get upcharged for fried rice. It's just one of the options, so might as well get it. And I'm loving the panko crust on this salmon. It's pretty bomb and crispy. 
and nice and golden and the sauce is pretty when it is. So I'm sure the tartar sauce too would go really well with this. Okay, now onto the tuna mac. I've got a couple of other dishes to go through, so we're just gonna kind of whip through. Um, you have a choice with every plate lunch to get toss greens or tuna mac, which is actually another thing that's very unique. Tuna mac is not usually served, it's just plain Hawaiian mac salad, or Hawaii style mac salad, excuse me. Uh, but now you got an extra thing of tuna, another protein in there. I don't know what to make of it. I mean, it's good. I'm just trying to figure out the flavors. It's like this lemony, bright taste to it. That's very unique. Either dill or lemon in there. And it makes a nice bright taste with the heavy mayo. And there is a lot of tuna in there. You know, it's canned tuna, but a lot of meatiness. And you know me, I'm not a mac salad person, but this is pretty unique and refreshing and I like the tuna in there and what I like about it is it's super cold I mean it took me five minutes to drive here to just find a place to park and film but I saw the owner scooping it out of the cooler and it's still very very chilled and cold so it makes it taste even better and um, just that lemonine taste gives it just a nice finish off to it just very unique and different so if you're wondering how much that salmon katsu plate is for the special on friday so it's not an everyday thing it is 13 dollars straight okay second dish or second and final plate lunch anyway is their steak plate and uh, that's a pretty massive amount of steak you get it cooked to order and how you want it so i asked for medium so uh, there are some red parts in there. So if you're not into that and you like well done, don't worry. You can ask him to cook it all the way through. This one, because I got the mac salad and the other one, I got uh, toss greens. You have your choice of ranch, Italian, or balsamic vinegar, I believe. I got ranch. So let's dig in. It looks freaking awesome. Okay, let's dig in. This is huge. I mean, wow. That's a lot of meat. And like I said about the other plate, you get a choice of white rice, brown rice, or fried rice. And in this plate, I got um, white rice. So this is each piece of meat, each cut, and there's tons of them. So I'm gonna try to shove this in my mouth. That's a very good, flavorful, well-seasoned steak. And it's got a lot of flavor to it, almost like you grilled it, but I know they didn't grill it because they probably used a flat top or something else, a pan, but wow, lots of flavor coming out of that steak. That's pretty good plate lunch steak as far as you can get without going to a steakhouse or making it yourself on charcoal. Just um, tender, but not that tender like I wouldn't say it's like filet mignon tender but you're not gonna expect that um, but tender enough like a good New York strip steak that kind of meat and it's sliced right against the grain so it's easy to chew chase it down with some rice Wow that's that's a good meal right there and he did cook it the way I wanted it so no complaints there, it's not too bad, you know, it's still red, it's not overcooked. Sometimes you go to places you ask for medium or medium, medium rare or whatever, and it's too overcooked. I like these little fatty pieces because um, I don't usually like fat and grizzle, but Sometimes on a steak you need a little bit of moisture and it doesn't make it so dry. So there are a little bit of pieces which, you know, makes a good ratio for fat. Not too fatty, but not too lean and tough. The rice is cooked well. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. And I can't really show it to you because it is just bombarded with meat. So, I mean, you can't even see the rice underneath. But there is the rice, two scoops, and I finally made a little bit of a dent to show the salad. And uh, 
like let's take the ranch and it looks like a mixture of like arugula or some kind of spinach or like baby greens mixed with some iceberg lettuce so instead of drizzling it on I'm just gonna dip it tastes good reminds me of a steak plate from blazing steaks but a little bit more quality because usually I would get my plate there with salad so it just kind of reminds me of that steak salad and rice you can't go wrong it's delicious if you're wondering how much that massive steak plate was and I'm telling you that was delicious um, with the salad or your choice of the tuna mac as well brown rice white rice or that Portuguese fried rice thing with the bacon grease for no upcharge it is only twelve dollars and fifty cents that was a lot of meat and it's cooked to perfection when I went today anyway you didn't screw it up medium I got my medium and I can't complain delicious and good cuts of steak too all right if you go to Max and Lucy's or you're familiar with it you also know that they're famous for baking their own baked goods and they have a little area where they showcase them they had brownies apple cake coffee cakes and uh, chocolate cake carrot cake and you could tell that you know I went around 10 that people were already coming in and taking some because I got the last lemon bar not a lemon person actually I'll be honest but the reason I picked this comes in these little cute things is everybody raves about them and this was the last one so that must be good if this is the last one and it was 10 o'clock and they didn't even close they don't close till 2 so I don't know what to make of it it's a pretty big piece and for the desserts I'm sorry I forgot to get a receipt from the lady and I don't know how much this is because there's no sign by the uh, display for the desserts but I'll show you a close-up of it seems to have a little bit of a crusty sugar top and I don't know I guess maybe the insides moist but it's got a nice crust on the bottom nice and brown let's take a taste of it there is a crust to it I'm trying to figure it out so there's a very very thin crust like a flour crust and then the top when you crunch on it it just breaks apart and flakes but it's crunchy like a thin film of sugar crunch and the inside the middle has that lemony soft gooey texture and it's very unique and you can see why people like it to be honest I'm not a lemon person like I said don't go for like lemon meringues or anything like that but it's the crust that makes this I really enjoy that thin crust even though there's so little of it it just elevates the texture in your mouth with the gooey lemon but the lemon is okay it's actually very pleasant but it's just not my favorite thing I think if this same recipe instead would be like I don't know like blueberry or some other fruit wow that would be amazing but I can see why people like it and this was the last one sorry guys and the sugar top that is so unique it's just brittle and just flakes apart in your mouth when you bite into it and it's just full pure sugar it's just um I don't know just diabetes but it's delicious so I got another dessert that was on the house again I really don't expect or want um, free things but the owner and the lady who works for him she's like this little um, Chinese auntie this lady she's so sweet and right when I came in she said come inside come inside she's so you know very nice and explained all the things on the menu and just was very inviting so these people here at Max and Lucy's very nice service very nice genuine people he wanted me to have a apple cake so um, I took it but again I, I don't expect anything free at all I'm willing to pay for it all right so this one I can't use my hands so I was looking for a fork because I touched it and it's super soft you can see it just breaks apart it's like a moist cake you can see the apples in there 
Mm. <laughs> I'm not a sweets person. And this is kind of sweet, but wow. That soft, moist cake and the strong apple flavor in a pleasant way. So good. I really, really like this one. This is like, I don't know, they got the cake so moist it just melts in your mouth. And the outside, you can kind of, can you hear that? Like a hard sugar crust, but it's not like, they didn't pour icing on it or anything like that. I think it's just baked in. So it's like, you do get a little bit of texture and crunch on the top, but the rest is so moist and delicate. Hear that? I forgot to mention too that you can smell when I first opened it, the apple cinnamon smell. This, I really, really like. And I definitely get it again. And I would recommend this. The apple cake, I'm so glad he offered it because, um, wow, you've converted me into being a dessert person if you're gonna feed me this. This is freaking bomb. And again, sorry, even though he gave it to me on the house, um, I didn't get the price of it because it doesn't say on the menu. Um, and I didn't get my receipt, but that was my fault because I didn't ask. And she was kind of bombarded with phone calls, so they were popular. You see all their tickets that she lined up from all these people calling in to pick up, probably because the parking is terrible. So I would suggest as well that you call it in and then just run in and grab it. That way um, you don't have to wait. Anyway, uh, just a little bit more information. They do open, like I said, really early at six. The lady said that they serve um, breakfast. So they have breakfast, bentos, omelets, made to order, uh, bagels, muffins, and all their little treats. Um, I do have their menu um, kind of like zoomed in and it said assorted treats, their baked goods, $4.50 to $6.50 each. So um, they do vary. So I don't know what the price is for those two desserts. They do have coffees, lattes, Americanos, and espressos and things like that, smoothies. And um, she explained that they start lunch at 10, like the items start coming out and they're ready by that time. And other things, if you didn't look at the menu that I shot in the beginning, beef stew, roast pork, chicken cutlet, meatloaf, chili, and all the local favorites for plate lunch. And then every day they have different specials. It seems like about four to five specials, Monday through Friday, different things that rotate on their weekly special menu. So my recommendations would be to go to Max and Lucy's if you have the chance, or if you work in the town area near all the offices in the middle of um, downtown Honolulu and try it out for lunch if you can, because it's not open on the weekends unless you have odd days off and try it out. Definitely of all the things I tried would recommend that steak plate that was bomb. And um, whether you get the salad or the tuna mac, either or it works for me. I liked, I enjoyed them both. The lemon bar I enjoyed, but that's not my flavor. But if you're into lemon bars, that thing is amazing. I just love the textures and that crust, that little crusty flour thing. I don't know, it's made out of flour and butter probably. But that apple cake was number one on my dessert list out of all of them. Apple cake and the steak. Definitely recommend those for sure. So Max and Lucy's on Halikawila Street in downtown Honolulu. Check it out for some mean grinds and awesome plate lunches and very, very friendly local service. So hopefully I'll see you again next week. And if you like this and you found it interesting, press the like button, it helps me out. And subscribe if you're new, if you want to. And I'll see you again on another food adventure next week. And everybody have a great weekend. Take care and peace out.